Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Friday Morning Prayers, the second week of Advent. Today we honor St. Virginia Centrione Bricelli. Raised in a pious family, she felt drawn to religious life as a child. However, due to family position, she agreed to an arranged marriage to Gasparo Bricelli on the 10th of December, 1602. He was a drinker, a gambler, and though the couple had two daughters, Lilia and Isabella, he was little of a father or husband. Virginia was widowed on the 13th of June, 1607, after five years of marriage at age 20. Virginia moved in with her in-laws, cared for her children, and dedicated her free time to prayer and charity. When her two daughters were grown and married, Virginia devoted herself entirely to caring for the sick, aged, and abandoned children. In late 1624 and early 1625, war in the region led to many orphans, some whom Virginia took in and cared for. When her mother-in-law died in August of 1625, Virginia poured herself into the work, turning her house into a refuge. Her house was eventually overrun with needy during the plague and famine in 1629. To house them all, Virginia rented the vacant convent of Monte Calvario and moved her charges there in 1631. Due to crowding, Extra housing was built in 1634. Virginia was soon caring for 300 patients and in 1635 received official government recognition for her hospital. Virginia worked closely with the young women in her houses, teaching them religion and ways to earn a living. The expenses of Monte Calvario were excessive, so Virginia bought two villas and started construction of a church dedicated to Our Lady of Refuge. It became the mother church of the institution, whose rule was written between 1644 and 1650. Sadly, though the institute was a success, assistance, personal and financial, began to decline. Without the chance to work with Virginia, many of the middle upper class did not participate fearing the poor and rough residents. Though her health was failing, she worked for general spiritual development throughout the region, working for the choice of the Blessed Virgin Mary as patron of the Republic of Genoa in 1637, for the institution of the Forty Hours Devotion in 1642, and the revival of home missions in 1643. She acted as peacemaker between noble houses. She even aided in the reconciliation of church and republic authorities in 1647, ending a dispute that caused the government to abandon support of the Institute. Virginia continued working up to the end of her days and in later years received the gifts of visions and interior locutions. St. Virginia Pray for us. Morning Prayers In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Blessed be the holy and undivided Trinity, now and forevermore. Amen. Advent Prayer by Henri Nguyen Lord Jesus, Master of both the light and the darkness, send your Holy Spirit upon our preparations for Christmas. We who have so much to do and seek quiet spaces to hear your voice each day, we who are anxious over many things, look forward to your coming among us. We who are blessed in so many ways long for the complete joy of your kingdom. We, whose hearts are heavy, seek the joy of your presence. We are your people, walking in darkness, yet seeking the light. 
to you we say, Come, Lord Jesus. Amen. The Angelus The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Act of Adoration O great God, the Sovereign Lord of heaven and earth, I prostrate myself before Thee. With all the angels and saints, I adore Thee. I acknowledge Thee to be my Creator and Sovereign Lord, my first beginning and last end. I render to Thee the homage of my being and life. I submit myself to thy holy will, and I devote myself to thy divine service, this day and forever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Confiteor I confess to Almighty God, to Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, to Blessed Michael the Archangel, 
to blessed John the Baptist, to the holy apostles Peter and Paul, and to all the saints that I have sinned exceedingly in thought, word, and deed. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I beseech thee, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, Blessed Michael, the Archangel, Blessed John, the Baptist, the Holy Apostles, Peter and Paul, and all the saints, to pray to the Lord our God for me. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. Act of Faith O my God, I firmly believe that Thou art one God in three divine persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I believe that thy divine Son became man and died for our sins, and that he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe these and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches, because thou hast revealed them, who canst neither deceive nor be deceived. Act of Hope O oh my God, relying on thy infinite goodness and promises, I hope to obtain pardon for my sins, the help of thy grace, and life everlasting, through the merits of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer. Act of Charity O oh my God, I love thee above all things with my whole heart and soul because thou art all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of thee. I forgive all who have injured me and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. Here we make a firm resolution to avoid evil and to do good. Adorable Jesus, divine pattern of that perfection to which we should all aspire. I will endeavor this day to follow thine example, to be mild, humble, chaste, zealous, patient, charitable, and resigned. Incline my heart to keep thy commandments. I am resolved to watch over myself with the greatest diligence and to live soberly, justly, and piously for the time to come. I will take care of my words that I may not offend with my tongue. I will turn away my eyes that they may not see vanity, and I will be particularly attentive not to relapse this day into my accustomed failings but to struggle against them with thy gracious assistance. Enlighten my mind, purify my heart, and guide my steps that I may pass all of my life in thy divine service. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. 
Amen. Litany of the Most Holy Name of Jesus Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, hear us. Jesus, graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Ghost, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Jesus, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Jesus, splendor of the Father, have mercy on us. Jesus, brightness of eternal light, have mercy on us. Jesus, King of glory, have mercy on us. Jesus, Son of justice, have mercy on us. Jesus, Son of the Virgin Mary, have mercy on us. Jesus, most lovable, have mercy on us. Jesus, most admirable, have mercy on us. Jesus, mighty God, have mercy on us. Jesus, Father of the world to come, have mercy on us. Jesus, angel of great counsel, have mercy on us. Jesus, most powerful, have mercy on us. Jesus, most patient, have mercy on us. Jesus, most obedient, have mercy on us. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, have mercy on us. Jesus, lover of chastity, have mercy on us. Jesus, lover of us, have mercy on us. Jesus, God of peace, have mercy on us. Jesus, author of life, have mercy on us. Jesus, example of virtues, have mercy on us. Jesus, zealous lover of souls, have mercy on us. Jesus, our God, have mercy on us. Jesus, our refuge, have mercy on us. Jesus, Father of the poor, have mercy on us. Jesus, treasure of the faithful, have mercy on us. Jesus, good shepherd, have mercy on us. Jesus, true light, have mercy on us. Jesus, eternal wisdom, have mercy on us. Jesus, infinite goodness, have mercy on us. Jesus, our way and our life, have mercy on us. Jesus, joy of angels, have mercy on us. Jesus, king of patriarchs, have mercy on us. Jesus, master of apostles, have mercy on us. Jesus, teacher of evangelists, have mercy on us. Jesus, strength of martyrs, have mercy on us. Jesus, light of confessors, have mercy on us. Jesus, purity of virgins, have mercy on us. Jesus, crown of all saints, have mercy on us. Be merciful unto us. Spare us, O Jesus. Be merciful unto us. Graciously hear us, O Jesus. From all evil, Jesus, deliver us. From all sin, Jesus, deliver us. From thy wrath, Jesus, deliver us. From the snares of the devil, Jesus, deliver us. From the spirit of uncleanness, Jesus, deliver us. From everlasting death, Jesus, deliver us. From the neglect of thine inspirations, Jesus, deliver us. Through the mystery of thy holy incarnation, Jesus, 
deliver us. Through thy nativity, Jesus, deliver us. Through thine infancy, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy most divine life, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy labors, Jesus, deliver us. Through thine agony and passion, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy cross and dereliction, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy faintness and weariness, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy death and burial, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy resurrection, Jesus, deliver us. Through thine ascension, Jesus, deliver us. Through thine institution of the most holy Eucharist, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy joys, Jesus, deliver us. Through thy glory, Jesus, deliver us. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, spare us, O Jesus. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Jesus. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Jesus. Jesus, hear us. Jesus, graciously hear us. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, who has said, Ask, and ye shall receive. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Grant, we beseech thee, to us who ask the gift of thy most divine love, that with all our heart, words, and works, we may love thee and never cease to praise thee. Make us, O Lord, to have a perpetual fear and love of thy holy name. For thou never failest to govern those whom thou dost solidly establish in thy love, who livest and reignest. Amen. Daily Novena Prayer to Saint Joseph O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt, before the throne of God. I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ, our Lord, so that having experienced here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary of contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Hold him close in my name and kiss his fine head from me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Amen. Prayer to the Guardian Angel Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love entrusts me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Ambrosian Hymn Yam Lucis Orto Sideri Now that the star of light has risen, let us to God most humbly pray to save us from all hurtful things and all our actions of the day to bridle and restrain our tongue, that wordy war may not resound, to cover and protect our sight from dangerous follies all around, 
to drive iniquity away and purify our inmost soul, and by spare use of meat and drink, our rebel passions to control, that when the day has sped away and he again the night shall bring, we may through holy abstinence with purity his glory sing. All glory to the Father be, all praise, eternal Son, to Thee, all honor as is ever meet, to God, the Holy Paraclete. Amen. Come to us, Holy Spirit. Come to us, Holy Spirit, come, one with the Father and the Son, vouchsafe to dwell within our souls and quickly make our hearts thine own. Let voice and mind and heart and strength confess and glorify thy name, and let the fire of charity burn bright and other hearts in flame. O God, who canst not change nor fail, guiding the hours as they roll by, brightening with beam the morning pale, and burning in the midday sky. Quench the fires of hate and strife, the wasting fever of the heart. From perils guard our feeble life, and to our souls thy peace impart. Grant this, O Father, only Son, and Holy Spirit, God of grace, to whom all glory, three in one, be given in every time and place. Amen. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even to the end of time. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello everyone, this is Half Heart. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Leave a comment or a prayer request below. I personally reply to them all. May God bless.